Boy, that was some climb. So let's do an example. Let's say I want to get an object up a ramp. Uh, the most efficient way, well, let's see, let's draw something out here. Let's say I got the got a pickup truck and I want to get an object up on the pickup truck. Well, I'm not going to raise it straight up even though the distance is less. I'm going to bring it up a ramp. Oh, bigger tires. Even though the ramp's longer, it'll take less force. It won't be as efficient. I'll have to use more work, but I can do it. Okay, so let's uh, do some examples. Let's see, let's say this object here, let's say it's got a weight of uh, 200 pounds. And let's say uh, I raise it up to a height of three feet. Now let's find out what the workout is. That'll be a capital W. Workout. Question mark. Well, the workout. is equal to force, the force that I need to use to raise it, times the distance, the height, well, times the distance. In this case, it's the weight of the object, 200 pounds. That's the force of the object. Remember, weight is a force. And if I could raise it straight up, I'd be raising 200 pounds. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's, I skipped a step, really. Let's say this, set a force, let's call it a specific kind of force, the weight, because that's what matches the variable that I used, right? I said weight and I said height. So in this case, if I'm lifting it through gravity, I'm doing work on gravity, putting energy into that object, it's weight times height. And that's going to be 200 pounds times the height of three feet, and that's going to give me 600 let's see, feet times pounds, foot pounds. I could say, I could say pound feet, but generally it's given in foot pounds. Okay, so that's my output work, 600 foot pounds of work. I've raised the energy of that object by raising, raising it up there by 600 foot pounds. Now, instead of just raising it straight up, uh, let's take, let's drag it up this ramp. Let's say it takes a lot less energy to drag it up the ramp. Let's say it takes only 50 pounds worth of force. I have to pull with only 50 pounds worth of force to drag it up the ramp, but I've got to pull it a lot further. Um, let's say, let's say I've got to pull it 20 feet. So, my input force is 50 pounds. And my input distance is 20 feet. And I want to know, what's my input work? Well, oh, this will be easy. Working equation is the input work is equal to the input force, oh, I love these helicopters, times the input distance
that's equal to uh, 50 pounds times my input distance of 20 feet. That's going to give me uh, 50 times 20. That's 1,000 foot-pounds. So what I've done is, I did, I put 600 foot-pounds of work uh, into that object, but I, but the input work that I did to get it up there was a thousand foot-pounds. It took more work in to get that work out, but I required less force. Now, how efficient was it? Well, let's find out with a fresh piece of chalk. efficiency is. Well, here's the equation again. Efficiency is equal to the output work divided by the input work times 100%. And that's equal to 600 foot-pounds over 1,000 foot-pounds times 100%. Don't use the percent sign on your calculator. Just use the percent as a unit, just like any other. You'll notice that the foot-pounds cancel out. I'm left with percent. 600 over 1,000 times 100%. That gives me an efficiency of 60 percent. We should probably do a metric calculation, too.